Hello, in this video I'm going to go over displacement or height. Um, so if I go over my object right now and I hold down shift right click, you'll see that it looks like a very smooth object when the light goes over it. Like it's just like a fake texture and visually and in 3D that is actually what is happening. This texture isn't moving or changing the little, the, the micro um, bump on your object. Um, so we need to add that. Um, but I want to kind of show you what displacement is actually doing. So let's go here. And I created this map here. So just black and then it goes up 20 um, and by 20 values. So this is uh, 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, and then 100 or one, so a white, completely white object is this side. Um, so now let's go over to back to Substance Painter and import it in. And then I'm just gonna, I made a new layer and I'm gonna apply it to the base color. And I did this before, so I just, re, um, I'll increase the amount of tiling. So something like this. And then I am going to then put this. So I put it there so you know what each value is doing. And I'm going to put that same texture in the height, which is um, form of displacement. So you'll see here that it looks like it's actually working. So it looks like you actually have some displacement and the light is being affected. but what this is doing it's affecting our normal map so if you look at it from a glancing angle you'll see that it's not actually pushing up the geometry it's it's basically using the normal maps um, to fake a displacement bump um, and they use these a lot in games um, usually you want to keep the normal map detail um, small because anytime it gets bigger it doesn't um, create self shadows, like it doesn't create accurate shadows and it doesn't give you a good silhouette. So if I go over here and then go down to normal height mesh, you'll see what this looks like. So each one of these colors um, um, maybe I'll send out a video to or link a video that um, describes what normal maps are doing. Um, there's some good ones out there and I probably kind of kill it if I probably wouldn't do a great job if I just described it without some visuals. Um, so I'm going to go to normal. So the way that we can get our height map to actually displace out is by going up to here under shader settings and then by default this is all the way to the top just go all the way to the bottom and there's something called um, displacement and tessellation enable that if it is not enabled and make sure your source channel is at height and then subdivision count this is the number we need to bring up so i'll just bring it up all the way this will slow down your scene just be aware of that and then I am going to increase my scale. So this will, this is like your intensity. So I'm gonna set point. So even if this is very sensitive, so even at a point one, you'll see that it kind of makes this crazy looking modern art looking table, which is pretty neat. Um, but this number should be pretty low. So I'll try that point zero zero five. Um, and this kind of gets the point. So the black goes down, so it's displacing down, and then 50, so 50% 50 gray, and that's what this one ish is. Um, and that is the least amount of displacement, the actual geometry. So what happens is things that are dark, or then 50% gray will push in, and everything that is more than 50% gray 
will push out so I'll, I'll displace out and you can kind of see that here so see how the black is going in and then I think that's not a perfect 50% gray let me double check so I can check here by just using my that was it so that was a 40 so I could have put a 50% gray right in the middle and that would have been better but let's go back to this um, but you're noticing that does a lot less so it, you want if you don't want any effect any displacement make it into 50% gray okay so now that we've done that um, I think that is a good overview of displacement um, I'll apply these things for the next video.